Um, so Stuart, good uh, end to pre-season today, good performance and a good win? Yeah, yeah, really pleased with today. Um, pre-season, as you know, has been a bit bitty for us, um, but today, yeah, really pleased. It was a really competitive game against a good low of stuff side and, and I thought we, we were we more than matched them and, and yeah, it was a really good game of football. Yeah, because uh, Tuesday, obviously, we had a few more players missing, but the feedback I got around the ground was everyone was still really pleased with that performance, even with the, the lost trips which that night. The other team. Yeah, I mean, injuries have we started to get some players back. The performance Tuesday against it, which I felt was really good, and there was not a lot in, in the two teams. They were probably just a little bit more clinical, and much like what we did to last off today, we were a little bit more clinical than they were today. So Yeah, and I suppose similar to Leiston as well here. Uh, they obviously didn't have many chances, but they put them away, of course. Yeah, exactly, you know, and you'll find out the higher you go up, teams are clinical, and that's what we need to get into our game, just a little bit better in both box boxes, but I thought we, we were that today. OK, um, just an update on the injury situation. Um, there's obviously, have you ever known a pre-season to be quite so severe for injuries? No, no, is I mean... It, is it, it the extended break, do you think? It's hard to say what it is, but but I don't think it helps. Um, I know a lot of clubs are suffering a little bit. The Romford called similar. theirs off today. Yeah, I know. Stoke, injuries, Stoke, Stoke did, of course. Our game off, so they're, they're off. And their teams were obviously as well. big squads, so. Yeah, and um, so I think it, I don't think it's helped, but but I think we're we're over the worst of it. Touch wood. Um, okay. And you know we we're getting players back, and, and hopefully by the you know the first FA Cup game, we're, we're probably only going to have three out. One okay. of those being a, a longer term one that we knew about anyway. So. Okay, um, Callum Bennett back today, but limped off today. Yeah, he t- took a nasty one from from his mate Debo yeah. um, on the ankle, so you know it's, he'll be okay. I think it's he was sensible, and we were going to withdraw him at, at roughly that point in the game anyway, and, and we didn't see any point in trying to limp on and carry on, which probably in a league game he would have been able to do. So. Okay, and then. Um, we had Noel Aitkins, Curtis Haynes Brown watching from the sidelines as well. Yeah, and George I mean, Clark, yeah. And George Clark, yeah, of course, yeah. You know, they're, they're probably the three that we're going to be without um, come the start of the season. Not ideal because they're all good players, but, um, but you know, it's we've got we've got a really good squad this year and I'm more than more than happy with those that, that can step into those positions. OK. Um, we've uh, you got some news on a, a new signing. We saw him the other night. Yeah, so uh, you know, delighted, delighted that Reece Henry has decided to to join us back from his spell at Leicester, which is fantastic news. You know, he's obviously a, a bit of a fan favourite and, and great around the club, so that's really good news. And you know, we're looking at probably one other, hopefully in the next day or so, just just to sort of bolster the squad moving into into the start of the season. Okay, and talking of which, um, first competitive game next weekend. On a Sunday, um, hashtag United away. What's your, what's your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it's, it's a difficult draw, mm. um, certainly, you know, because um, they'll have a lot of fanfare around that type of game and, and probably cup games suit them and, and how they play. Um, clearly, we, you know, we've, we've studied and, uh, and had a look at how they play and we've got ideas on how we can combat what they do. But I guess one you know, good thing with them is you, they're their footage is quite easily obtainable isn't it it's accessible it's yeah been, and then that's you know part and parcel of the club but you know that make no bones about it we're not going to be underestimating them because they're they're a good side you know yeah. and that they are where they are now at that level because they've got good players and they're a good team okay um then of course we'll start the league season a, a week later at great wakering yeah uh following Saturday again here in the cup against the same side mm-hmm. um, by then do you think we're going to have some of those players back did you say so? yeah I think uh, you know George Clark has had a, had an operation in the summer on his toe and, and he's still got pin in his toe so he, he's a little bit longer but he has his pin out on Monday so we're expecting three to four weeks from there he'll be back um, Noel and Curtis should both be back before then you know we're hopeful hopeful probably Noel maybe the first league game so you know they're, they're not too far away and, and you know, Charlotte Physio is working on them tirelessly, to yeah. be fair to her, um, to get them back on the pitch for us. OK, and I guess everyone's raring to go ready for next week then? Yeah, can't, can't wait. wait. You know, it's you can see out there today there's a real buzz around the squad and a buzz around the, the whole football club, really, and, and I, I just think everyone can't wait to get started now. Yeah, I mean, that shows in the season ticket sales. I say um, 250 
we hit this season just over now actually yeah so, um, fantastic brilliant. you know we can't thank the, the fans enough really it's you know brilliant support as, as we've had here for the last three or four seasons and it's you know testament testament really to the, the whole club that people want to come here and the match day experience now is is one of the best around which is great okay well thanks for your time no problem congratulations on the win today and good luck for next week and uh, thank you very much thank you